The Gleaming Buds of May. Part one. Yes, it's James. Uh, and you are? Margaret Love. And this is Alan. Oh. He'll yap your ear off. We just wanted to say your speech was very inspiring and we would love to get involved, wouldn't we, Alan? In fact, I bet our whole street would. Great speech, James. Thanks, Ryan. Fantastic. Well, here's my card and I'll be in touch. We're going to do a huge community event where we'll get everyone together and suggest ideas. This is going to be huge for Plymouth and we will definitely need your help. Hope to see you there. Oh, Alan, I've got a brilliant idea. It's big, isn't it? No, not the boat, the event. Yes, the boat is big, but the event, the year, everything is huge. What if I can't pull it off? What if I forget something or no one likes it? People are already unhappy about a lot of this. How do you make a big event about people who are trapped inside for 66 days? Who can empathize with that? Ha! No, ma'am, no one will want to do a quiz. No, you're right. It's just been a long day. We launched a big open call to the community to bring us ideas and it was really inspiring. But I'm worried people just won't be able to connect with something so old and so controversial, you know. Everyone's busy with their own life, work and social life. Who's got the time to join in with community projects nowadays? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Speak to you later. National Mayflower 400 events that cannot happen as a result of the current pandemic are cancelled or postponed until the end of July, with decisions being taken in the next few weeks on the remainder of the year and into 2021. Hi, is this Cathy? Well, it depends who wants to know. Well, my name is James. I I'm just ringing from the Mayflower 400 project. You popped your name down as looking to get involved with our community projects, and I'm trying to see if you might be interested Look, in... Look, love. No, not a good time. I need to stock up on my beans and toilet roll, so I'm off down co-op. Ring me tomorrow at three and we can chat. Hi, is that Barb? Oh, hello, James. Look, we're looking at all the community projects and how we're going to move it online. Say no more. I'll get on it. I'll try my best to get everyone together. Fantastic. I'm working with a theatre company who are turning their project into a creative pack. Do you have some phone numbers from the community clubs that I can contact? Of course. I'm sure they will all be up for it. But just give them a heads up about Cathy. Hello. Hello. Oh, sorry, James. The signal is terrible up here on the moors in Morton, Hampstead. I tell you what, the kids are absolutely loving this whole lockdown malarkey. Oh yeah, Barbara did mention a theatre company. Oh yes, please, we'd be absolutely love one of your activity packs. Mummy. Oh, yeah. hold on one second. Yes, 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 go. Mummy's on the phone. Sorry, I can't stay too long. It is nearly lunchtime. Okay, right, perfect. I'll message you with my address. How much do these cost? Wow, that's so kind of you. Poppy? Sorry, thanks, James. Speak to you soon. Oh, yes, we know it's all about that, don't we, Alan? What's that? The Mayflower. So sorry about him, James. You know, the big ship which sailed across to America. We watched a documentary about it the other day. It was on right after countdown. You were probably asleep, Alan. Oh. Well, I saw on the news that there's a big celebration for it this year, isn't there? What was it? 500 years or something? 400. Well, I was close, wasn't I, Alan? Hmm. Oh, I wouldn't have liked all that sailing, being on a freezing cold boat, not knowing where you're going. suppose it was all about adventure, though, wasn't it? Not much to do back in those times. May as well sail off to find a new world, start over. Might have been quite nice, really, mightn't it? Then again, not with your snoring, Alan. It's awful. Keeps me up most of the night. Imagine being trapped on a boat with that. No, thank you very much. Well, I tell you what, that there hasn't been a big party here since the Diamond Jubilee, what must have been 10 years ago now. 
then again, I suppose they won't be doing anything too major because of this virus thing. Ooh, horrible stuff it is. Don't leave the house, do we, Alan? The only time we get out is for a short walk up the road to have a quick natter with Phyllis. But that's only if she's in the garden. It would be nice to have everyone together again. A proper party, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it, Alan? Yes, dear. Here, what's the blooming point? We don't bother about celebrating much around here anyhow. Yes, of course, I know what it is. It's that big old boat what left from the Barbican. What are we celebrating for? What's it done for us? Right, well, we like doing quizzes here, so we could just do a quiz about the boat. Question one, what was it? Correct, a big old boat. Or, there is bingo. Well, like I said, James, I don't think much, and I can tell you this for nothing. Plymouth won't do much about it. Are they? They never. Well, who'd have thought it? Well, if people be coming over here, then Plymouth is going to need a lot of sprucing up. I'd be well embarrassed. Look at the state of it. Not something you want international visitors seeing. But anyway, I can imagine them bothering with the likes of us. It's all be happening down Barbican Way, won't it? Are they? They never. Well, fancy that. Coming out here to get us involved? Who'd have thought it? In that case, I think this is a great idea. Yeah, go on then, I'll get involved. I can do a bit of patchwork or something. Stick the big old boat in the middle of a quilt. Yeah, be nice to see Plymouth make something of their history for once. But yeah, going to need more than a few daffodils planted and wall painting. If we are going to make it look nice for them sort of coming over. Did I mention, chill is great at crocheting. <laughs> Are you from the BBC? Oh, it's you, James. No, I'm waiting for the BBC to call me. I told Margaret and Phyllis up the road on my club on a Wednesday morning that they would call me, and they didn't. I sat next to the phone all morning. Outrageous, really. That's life, though, I suppose. I'm at the ripe old age of 89, and I thought, just for a second, they might want to hear what I've got to say. So, yes. I was looking forward to the Mayflower, but now it's more about the coronavirus, isn't it? Who wants to hear about my celebration when the whole world has turned upside down? I can't celebrate something that happened 400 years ago when we got things going on now. It's the positives now that keep me going, like managing to get my shoes on in under 30 minutes. Now Sally can't come in. Baking banana bread? No, I've decided against that one. Banana bread is a shambles. Coughing in the supermarket queue? No, that makes my inside smile. Blooming Buds of Bay was written and produced by By Design Theatre. Funded by Vital Sparks Community Mayflower Fund in partnership with Age UK Plymouth. Cast members are from 6 to 89 years old. All recordings were made over the phone from the safety of their homes during the height of the pandemic. James was played by John Williams, Margaret by Joan Wills, and Alan by Steve Carpenter. Kathy was played by Sue Vince, Helen by Lynn Hodgson, Jill by Alexandra Grant, and Barbara by Rosemary Crawford. Our two youngest cast members were played by Millie Felgate and Jack Rankin as Poppy and Amelia. The journalist was voiced by Charlie Rankin, Ryan by Ryan Wills, the synopsis by Ashley Edwards and introduction and credits by Julia Antrim.